Are we going? Rolling. Rolling. Welcome back, guys, to the General Banter Podcast. My first ad today is for my own Patreon. Um, if you don't know what Patreon is, it is a service. It's basically, you make your own subscription service. It's like OnlyFans, but I'm not taking out my pussy. It's just me doing more podcasts, basically. And you basically pay a little bit every month and you get extra material. At the minute, we're releasing podcasts as part of our General Banter Summer Slam. And uh, we have, well, at the minute we have four guests. It's just a wee, bo- it's a wee mini-series for you. You get on there, you get access to loads of other stuff, and uh, you get four extra podcasts with special guests, and there's comedy specials. There's all sorts of cool shit on there. So that's patreon.com forward slash general banter podcast. It's all over there. Get over there. Okay? I don't have pricing tiers on there because I'd rather you be in there and stay there than like dip in for a month and go, I can't afford this and leave. So get in there, stay in there. You get all the benefits of early tickets, early fucking merch behind the scenes documentaries, comedy specials, you know, bonus podcasts with famous people. Patreon.com forward slash John Abandon Podcast. Also, shout out to our OG sponsor, uh, Manscaped.com. Normally we have them on the desk. I've left them over there. You all know the crack. They've been involved with us for months now. And uh, they're just the world's leading manufacturer of male grooming products. You're hitting the summer now. It's actually a crime to be walking around with a hairy nutsack in 2021. You know, you should be shaving it and sanitizing it before you hit the streets. Uh, They've got the Manscaped, what what do they call it? The fucking lawnmower 3.0? Yep. They might be on the 4.0 now. The stuff that, that, I think they are on the 4.0. Because the light is like an option. It's an optional thing now. It, It used to be if you went to shave your nuts you had no choice but to use the light. And then sometimes it would catch your eye and you're, you're kind of stunned for a second and you're just shaving everything. Now you can, the light is an option. They got the ball toner, they got the ball moisturizer, they got the ball deodorant. If you got those stinking, stinking nuts, man. And the reason I'm telling you all this is because people who listen to this podcast, they get 20% off when they go to manscaped.com and use the code GenBant1. You know, 20% off the final price and can you put a price on a pristine scrotum yes you can <laughs> and you take that price and you use the code gemban one and you get 20 percent off that price and that's that's all we can really say about it so shout out to manscape.com uh use the code gemban one 20 percent off it's as easy as that the music's coming to an end timing not really because i've one more ad today <laughs> Our third and final sponsor, well, we've only two sponsors. Our sponsor is, uh, our final sponsor is, of course, Beer 52. They've come on recently, and what a better time, you know? Um, there was football on there. It's coming into the summer. It's fucking 23 degrees today, and you should be drinking beer that has been hand-selected for a balmy evening. <laughs> what Beer 52 is, they were one of the old-school subscription services. They've been around since day one, asking you for monthly subscriptions. You, you buy into it, they send you out boxes of uh, hand-selected craft beers. It's a fun way to drink. You get yourself a partner, you sample it. Mmm, this is fun and exciting. What's this beer? Oh, Raspberry Stout. What is it? 12%. Hammered. But of course, responsibly hammered. And uh, listeners to this podcast, if you... What is it? If you use the code BANTER, okay, tell them I sent you. You get the first box for nothing. All you pay for is delivery, five ninety five, And the beers arrive at your house along with a magazine and two snacks. And believe me, if you're reading the magazine about beer, sort your life out. But, you know, some people are into it. Uh, you know, my fucking whatever he is, brother-in-law, has an app where you fucking take a photo of the beer and then you put it in like, man, I had this, found it and blah, blah, blah. And it's oh, yeah. it's like a beer review thing. Absolutely. Will you fuck up, no, I mean, like, fuck it. You know, we're not going that far, but the beers are great. Use the code banter. You get fucking the first box free. And from then on, you do pay for them. But it's worth it. Especially when you go to buy these craft beers in, in, in the wild. Do you ever buy a tin of craft beer? Yep. 14 quid. Yep, at least. For a tin? Small tin? So anyway, beer52.com, get yourself uh, 
first box free. It's fun. It's exciting. Um, met a few of them there at the weekend. Paying for it. Let's get into it, guys. The General Banter Podcast with Paul and Jettis. <clears throat> was actually at the pub last night uh, for what we have now named the Turbo Waz Up, <laughs> which is, you know, one of the females in your life drops you off and says, I'll be fucking back here. This is literally my sister in law. She doesn't talk like that. I'll be fucking back here at half ten. You better be ready. So we fucking hit the stop the stop clock and just start ordering pints. And we we didn't order the same one twice. We were like, by the way, tenants and on draft. This pub this pub does great pints. So it doesn't really matter what you order. But they were like, let's get a tenants. And I normally I'm like, mm, I'm okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I drink craft beer. <laughs> okay. If it's not fucking oatmeal, fucking spiky IPA, I'm not drinking it. I don't even know what that means. I read it on a tin. Uh, but I got the tenants. It was good. And then we moved on to Guinness. And then we had a Smithix. And then we had another Smithix. And then we went back down the ladder. Guinness, tenants. So I had about five pints in about an hour and a half. So I was pretty hammered. But slept it off. You know, was able to sleep it off pretty quickly. So it felt great today. You know, got a wedding coming up the weekend. You're filming at it now. That'll be exciting. Yep, that will be. It'll be weird, like when you see your teacher and <laughs> outside of school. All right, how's it going? <laughs> got any memory cards? Yeah. Uh, so that'll be fun. Um, uh, of course, it's more and sister getting married, so I'll just be babysitting. Really, I know you can't say babysitting when it's your own child, but I will be on full guardian duty. With this baby in a suit, no doubt sweating through the back of it. It is going to be 25 degrees. Although, now you said you got a linen suit. Yeah, boy. Yeah, early fucking Attenborough. Psyched. That's a Yubi. Early Attenborough creeping about. <laughs> Not Geo. Not Geo. Just take, get, get one of those fucking like safari hats with a dome and then the brim on it. <laughs> and it curves over slightly. You just arrived to take like wedding video, but then. There's just, for some reason, two African Sherpa guys with you. Yeah. <laughs> two black dudes. I think you should shoot from this side. I think I think you should get a better angle. Yeah. You know, Psyched. guy's spearing his fucking wedding dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so racist! No, I'm joking. I'm just trying to be. Yeah, you'll be there in the linen suit. Um, Do you get like a sort of leather camera strap that Ooh. fits in with the fucking mix? Yeah. I um, need to have that like... Oh, uh, what do they call it? I think you know the one. It's like a harness, and you can carry two cameras on it. Yeah, that's when you know you've made it. I think they're called the money maker. Really? Yeah. Oh my god! Hilarious. When you're doing all the jobs. Yeah. Long range and up close. <laughs> Fucking right. That's gonna be pretty cool, hopefully. And of course, it'll be twenty five degrees. Um, you should arrive on like a Land Rover with no top. You know those old ones that you see in Safari? That's the dream. Yeah. Fucking right. Like, you know where you see, like, the Queen and Prince Philip go to visit Africa back in the day? <laughs> That'll be you. <laughs> Black lady with no top on. Fucking right. But it should be fun. And, uh, you know, I called in the next earlier thinking I was going to get a tie or something. And I ended up just buying a load of T-shirts. Bought this one. Uh, you know what I mean? Boom. Salmon. <laughs> sal- I don't even know what the fuck this is. This is a fucking aggressive move. Is that a move? Salmon or salmon? Salmon? Yeah. I've heard people say salmon. Really? And yeah. then did they lick windows on a bus? <laughs> yep. Salmon. It's, no, it's salmon. Yeah, I know. This is, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Who the fuck says salmon? <laughs> if I if someone brought my dinner in, they're like, hey, today we get this uh, blackened... Filet of salmon. I'd be like, <laughs> get it out of my fucking face. Send it back. Uh, yeah, it's definitely salmon though, globally. Yeah. Everyone sends salmon. Jesus Christ. But uh, yeah, I absolutely cleared next out there. Guy at the till was like, uh, oh man, was that your show last year? And I was like, oh, sweet. And he goes, this is the highlight of my day. And I went, it should be. Damn right. No, nah, fair play to him. Shout out. Uh, and he goes, yeah, I have a mate who's in Edinburgh or something. He thought he was having a good time while I'm at work and, I, and he's like but he's not he doesn't have Barry the Blender <laughs> buying six shirts for a tenner or whatever next day 
And then, of course, you know, I bought a shirt that says, it says on it, Boxy Fit. B-O-X-X-Y, Fit, Boxy Fit. Which, when I put it on, is just fits. Because when you're shaped like a box, that's just what shape it is. But then we went to, uh, it, we went to the usual O Donuts. We'd hear this. Guy at the thing goes, I know someone knows you. And I went, okay. Which is weird because that happened the last time I was there too. The girl was like, oh, I used to work with your fucking wife's sister. And I was like, cool. Get the fuck on coffee, Will you, will you fuck up, dude? <laughs> uh, and then Maureen told me I was rude to her. And I was like, no, it wasn't. I was very pleasant. I got her name and everything. But um, so... Uh, this guy was like, I know someone knows you. And he goes, he goes, apparently you were the first person she ever kissed. And I was like, what the fuck is this intervention that's going on here at the fucking coffee shop? Was this the shop? No, this was the, the, the fucking dresser. container, yeah. Nice. And then I was like, well, you know what I'm like, man? Players gonna play. I don't <laughs> fucking, I don't remember any of these fucking hoes, did it? No, not really. I was just, I was just sitting there. You know, you're totally taking off, or like, What's the, what's the term like caught off guard? Yeah, I was just like, okay. I don't know. It's like yeah, man. She was a she was a leader at a camp I went to, but he's and I was like, well, of course. Fucking kumbaya, and I, like literally, <laughs> I was literally just like, I was like I'm trying to visualize what sort of scenario that that information presented itself. Yeah, you know, guys, we're all here, kumbaya, my lord. And now that we're done that, let's talk about our first kiss. Just some weird old camp leader, thumb on his bulb. <laughs> Tell me about the first time that you ever kissed anyone. And whisper it in my ear. Oh, I haven't kissed anyone yet. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord has told me that you should practice on my cock. <laughs> Will you fuck up, dude? Dark. Uh, so yeah, that was that was just. I drove away with the coffee in my hand, just like, just like, it's <laughs> kind of what happened to me there. What happened there? But anyway, your boy's a player. Um, with a load of st- there's a load of stuff to talk about. Um, I just I, I find this thing this morning made me laugh. Demi Lovato is of course it was is non bind Yep. Yeah. And then she says, if you misgender, when you hear this, it puts up a post. If you misgender me, it's okay. I accidentally misgender myself sometimes. Then why bother? You know? Yeah. Oh, it's very serious and it means a lot for my personality. But don't worry if you fuck it up because I fuck it up too because I just fucking made it up. Obviously, there's people here like legit transgender and are fucking locked in the wrong body and fucking. Demi Lovato, who cuts her hair and now looks like she quite literally works in a chippy. You know? Man, it's Demi Lovato. <laughs> Movie short hair and all. Clock off here at 10 o'clock and then we're going down the town. Call me it. Or they. <laughs> but sometimes it's alright if you fuck it up because I fucking forget because basically I'm only doing it for a crack. You know what I mean? Sometimes I misgender myself. How do you, how do you misgender yourself? You know? How do you, how do you misgender yourself? Do you you don't refer to yourself? Yeah. A lot of the time. You know what I mean? You're like, oh man, I'm fucking. Oh, I've got a real itchy fan or not funny, just tubular non-binary sex hole. <laughs> how do you misgender yourself? It's insane. Are you writing the fucking letters? You know, it's like. Do you walk into the shop and they're like Sorry, where's the lady? Oh, sorry, not the lady. Where's the where's the they section for skirts? I don't know. It's just what a statement, though. Am I mental? Am I mental and thinking that's a crazy statement to make? I think that's pretty crazy. How do I, I've met? I misgender myself. You know, you fill in in a form, and it's like male, female, and she's like female. Oh, sorry, I meant other. <laughs> How much of your gender? is at the forefront of your mind of a day now? Uh, 100%. <laughs> really? really? <laughs> no. It's, it's never, like, conscious, is it? No. Like... I don't think so. Are you approaching toilets and you go, I'm going to piss in here? Yeah. 
to avoid being arrested. The, you're not, <laughs> you know, you're not like. I, I feel like it doesn't come into your into your head a lot. You know, unless unless you're literally transgender, and you you know it's killing you to fucking dress like a dude every day. Mm. When you want to be like a female. It's it's weird. It's a weird place to. It's obviously a very touchy subject. It's hard to even fucking. It's hard to even have a discussion. And try and figure it out. Not that I give a fuck about Demi Lovato, but I just feel like. You know, there's a lot of people taking this very seriously, and you know, there's a lot of outrage if you ever fucking stumble on on a on a pronoun. Yeah. And then she's coming out being like, "Here, I fucking, I'm only messing about as well. Sometimes I miss you, but like, yeah, I don't do anything." Like ninety eight percent of the day, where I'm I'm thinking about my gender while I'm doing it. I don't eat a sandwich and be like, "Look at this, look at me being a man eating a sandwich." <laughs> look at me, just a dude in my car driving about. It's kind of it's kind of you don't think about that sort of shit. No, it's very I strange. So. I mean, am I talking myself in a circle where I go, "Yeah, right enough, maybe gender's just a construct." <laughs> maybe. Strange. Yeah. Strange times. But here, Dammy, put out a song. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys, just like to announce to you that I'm fucking non binary. Oh, very cool singer. You know? Who gives a flying fuck? Bring back ugly fucking singers who are talented. That's what I'm saying. Where's Phil Collins when you need him? <laughs> We looked that up before them, ugliest fucking music stars. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a it's been a busy sport week. Uh, did you watch any of the football at all? I watched the penalties. The penalties. That's as much as I watched. Of yeah, the whole I know. Euros. Here's what. Here's my. Here's my fucking invention. Why don't you just play penalties? <laughs> Why isn't there the fucking Euro Championships of just taking penalties? It's like, it's like you had a, a fist fight and they went, it's a draw. Let's do rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. And you're like, why don't you just do the rock, paper, scissors if this is how you fucking decide it? <laughs> you know? I don't know. Fucking stupid sport. What's the, there is a version of it where they used to run from like the halfway line towards the keeper. Oh, really? Yeah. And you had to like get around the keeper or shoot and score. That, I'm sort of like that. I feel like that sort of displays more football football ability than just booting it in from fucking two meters away or whatever it is. Yeah. But then, of course, ones are missing and, you know, England being such a racist dump that it is, it's like, guys, we gotta take it easy on these guys. <laughs> you know, they just, they got us to the final and they missed a couple of kicks as anyone would. Could you maybe not call them monkeys this time? Yeah. That's literally what they were saying. Because we're going like, guys, you know, it's penalties, you know, anyone can miss these penalties and it just happened. And then they're, they're literally like, guys, we've got to be kind to these people. We can't bully them. And subtext, let's not be, let's not jump immediately to racist. I oh, missed a fucking penalty. What's he doing in this country anyway? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, know. <laughs> fucking dump, like. And like, yeah, the penalty thing, like anyone, no, the guy, what's his name, Rashford or whatever? Yeah. Bro, just kick it. The guy did the fucking salsa. Oh, yes. Didn't he? Stutters. And he, as, as soon as he stopped, I was like, he's going to miss it. Yeah. You know, like when he stopped. Here's running. what you do. You walk back and you fucking hammer it. Rally <laughs> it into the... Like, they're, they're talking about he missed. You know, like, oh, don't be, be kind to the fucking 18-year-old dude because he missed the penalty. No. Yeah. The keeper saved that penalty. Yeah. It was on target. The other dude doing the fucking foxtrot <laughs> salsa. He missed. Yeah. And you're like, that's because you ran an extra 400 meters before you kicked it, you stupid bitch. I mean, thanks for the free dinners, but who was the dude? What do you call the guy? I remember seeing there was like an Italian footballer took a penalty one time. Pirlo. Del Piero. Do you ever see Pirlo's penalty in the Euros? And he just like, he just lightly taps it and he just chips it. No. And it hardly touches the net. How do you spell that? Uh, P-I-R-L-O. Pirlo? Pirlo. Pirlo. The most handsome man. He's a, he's a fucking <laughs> sexy bastard. 
Just chipped it in with his dick, probably. <laughs> a penalty. He looks a lot like lots of people. Very handsome. Handsome, sexy man. He was like the, the captain as well, I think. Of course. Did he dink it? Did he just fucking he dink just it in? He tapped it. He just... And the keeper dived. Oh, it was against England, I think. I think. Is this it? Ah, get it up. Oh. <laughs> That's the most Italian thing. <laughs> Is he Italian? Yeah. Bro, he could have done that with a fucking cappuccino in his hand. <laughs> So good. You know what I mean? Just fucking, he's just making pasta shells and then he's like, uh, two <laughs> seconds, please. Erdink. <laughs> Boink. Ah, you twat. I see that football. I don't like football or give a shit, but I would literally buy that football. See that? Uh, is it an Ari, that one? Oh, uh, yeah. Beautiful. Just Brilliant. hair luxurious <laughs> as shit. So cool. I'm tired from the sex. <laughs> <laughs> I have sex all night. Two seconds, please. Think. Yeah, that was the. He might as well had his cock out the side of his shorts. So good for you. Think, <laughs> think. Uh, incredible. Um, Italians, man. But shout out to the, who's the Italian captain? It's just like someone's da. Rough looking bastard. Him. Is it? Was it Maldini? Was it? He was like a defender, and he he looked like fucking Easter Island head. <laughs> yeah, he just he, no, this guy's playing like at the weekend oh, there, but he was he? the captain. But he literally just looked like a fucking like if you watched like a movie, he looked like a just you're vaguely European sex trafficker. Yes, but was that uh, the defender. <laughs> I think he was a defender. Mm -hmm. I think so, captain. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the, they had that match. Them boys like fucked up the. The penalties and then there had to be this plea for people to be like can we please not bully these guys to death or just immediately turn racist and they're showing clips of you know people in the crowd go like ooh, ooh, make a monkey noise and you're like yeah what the fuck is wrong with these people i mean i i don't know anything about football and there's always this sort of like rugby football fucking thing like oh he's a fucking rugby bar are these and they look down on soccer players or football players think rugby players are a bunch of fucking posh wankers or whatever but there's certain things in place in rugby like where you, if there's a decision by the ref you can't run up in the ref's face and be like you fucking blind cunt you <laughs> fucking retard only the captain can speak to the to the ref and yeah. you can only do it in a very polite manner you yeah. can't run up to him and be like what the fuck was that you blind cunt because they just send you off it has to be very like respectful which I know, kind of, yeah. It kind of, sorry, it just kind of makes the, the game flow a bit easier. They should do that in football. Totally. Just like, right, off. Because it, <laughs> cause people see it professionally and then it, it trickles down. <laughs> and I've seen like, at like low level fucking youth football, coaches and all fucking pushing refs and screaming at them. And the guy's like, I'm getting paid 20 quid to be here. <laughs> the ref, you fucking animals. But, uh, there was a dude, there was a comedian there, and he made a joke, and his fucking... England football stars, Marcus Rashford, uh, how do you say that? Bukayo Saka. I've <coughs> um, sadly been subjected to the racist abuse online following their penalty misses in the Euros. Comedian Andrew Lawrence is one of those responsible for his disgusting comments as he tweeted, All I'm saying is, the white guy scored. Equality, diversity... Shit penalties. Oh, well, you see... I can see... What do you say? I can see that his... What? That this offended a lot of people, and I'm sorry that the black guys are bad at penalties. Bro, the first one, you might have got away with it. <clears throat> also, yeah. do you know what the thing is? Like, the good, uh, like, good comedians don't get in shit for edgy jokes. Yeah. Because they're good jokes. Yeah. And, I, like, I'm not saying I'm brilliant at comedy, but, like, I've said some rough shit in my time. But sometimes it, it's even true. Like, some of the roughest st stuff I say in my current set are facts. Yeah. You know, the fucking Chinese baby thing. Yeah. Fact. But everyone goes, oh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And this is one of, all I'm saying is the white guy scored, but it's like, you know. Yeah, he's single and the might. Yeah. That is yeah. just not funny and racist. Yeah. 
it is re- it is racist and it's not funny and he, he he maybe could have got away with that and went sorry that's a fucking shit joke got a few pints on me or if you said it in the right circumstances and then he says equality diversity shit penalty so he that one that statement is like okay they've they're they're letting black guys play to fill a fucking quota yeah and you're like oh dear we're, oh dear we're we're slipping we're slipping further down the, the slope here I can see that this is offend a lot of people. I'm sorry that black guys are bad at penalty. So then you're like, all right, okay, just fucking, you're hammering nails in your own coffin right now. <laughs> and also, you squinty, squeaky voiced, shit comedian. Let's let's get a bit of this this guy on the go. It's sometimes it's only a matter of time before the sort of comedians that like people don't like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're just waiting for something. Or they just bury themselves. My stomach is rumbling. I'm fucking starving. It's going to be one of these podcasts that people yap about where I wrap it up early to eat noodles. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's, that is just... Like he just, he literally just, he was digging a hole and he went, this shovel isn't doing enough work. Can you pass me that fucking... Uh, can you pass me a digger? Did I just really get into it here? Yeah, we're going to get taken off the internet again. Aren't we? <laughs> Oh yeah. We'll not play this video. Very much, thank you. Oh, what a lovely warm welcome. It's lovely to be here. I'm nervous. Always get nervous when I come on stage. I can't help it. I am. Um, <laughs> I can't help it. I'm scared of blacks, in it. I'm scared of black people. <laughs> if there's one thing that annoys me, it's when I watch the football and there's a black man playing. He sounds like an act from the twenties. The light shining in my yeah. eyes. Suddenly the clapping stops. A little bit of weed comes out, and then. <laughs> Anyway, you can relax some of you, not entirely sure at this early stage whether I'm the actual comedian or uh, whether someone's just let me up here as part of some sort of care in the community scheme. <laughs> thinking, anyway. I'd love to know if that voice is real. Or is that, yeah, I'm just trying. How I got cancelled. And that's mm. a year ago? <laughs> Man, this boy doesn't give a fuck. He's, pro- he's probably like, listen, I'm, ha- I'm one foot in, one foot out at this point. I wonder is it, I'm gonna come across so cute and I've watched a lot of Lee Evans and then he walks off stage <laughs> like these fucking mugs, mate. <laughs> what? Was that nice? <laughs> these fucking yeah. What's up in Lockstar, you fucking bastard? Hello and welcome to Trick. <laughs> you and your man it's your man Lenny when he's like watching the screen, like, he's got the interference, he's like, are you fucking bastard? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very well, and I, I, the Edinburgh Fringe, nothing came of it because it was it, uh, um, because I was done. I'd had my run, and and it didn't matter how well I did up there. I, I was sort of, you know, I, I was yesterday's news, and I've been chewed up. Spout, and that's fine. Cool, man's gonna kill himself. We'll move on. Uh, the, yeah, that's enough. Of that guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know. Anyway, comedy, man. Weird, weird business. Uh, but yeah, that's the football. And then, of course, you know, English fans just can't fucking control themselves and trash the place. Desperate. Desperate. Yes. Did you, we did a podcast with Nico from uh, Pride and Pinion, um, which is going to be up this week. Did you see his stories? Yeah. The dude, I mean, this is what happens when you're fucking loaded <laughs> and all your mates are loaded. This, is, this ain't happening with me and fucking, you know, like Mickey and shit. It was a Ben Nick. He was like, I don't know what happened, but they're obviously like, we've got tickets to this match. Do you want to get a chartered flight and try and fly over? Oh, they had tickets, so they should have got in. And they were documenting the whole process. But sure enough, they got there and the English fans were ratting or else they were just, you know what English fans are like? They're like, we have the right to be in here. Uh, and they just crushed the, the fucking barrier, barriers and got in. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. The English people. Yeah. So even the ticket holders turned up and they were like, oh, we can't let you in because we're like over capacity because basically people just fucking forced their way in. England! And uh, yeah, they're talking about banning them from the World Cup and stuff now. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> like, what? Is, what is it with like sp- sport like that where people just lose their shit? I know, it's weird. Yeah, let's fucking all get together and fucking... I remember being on a train in London and there was a load of fucking, was it like Millwall fans or something? Oh, Jesus. But there were, it might not have been, but they were like, 
they were just walking along, and da, 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 fucking singing all these songs, and they got on the train. They weren't like bothering people, apart from they were just being like super loud and singing and all. And I was just looking over, and I was like, "Bro, you're forty six. Yeah, you're forty six. Yeah, and you're all like, da, 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 tens of Stella and all. And you're like, get a family. <laughs> Will you fuck up, to me? <laughs> like, Do something with your life." That guy during the week just, hello, you three, two, Santander. You know, like just fucking yeah. professional. Life. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, mate. Going to knock it off at six, mate. Yeah, fucking get a couple of babies. You know? Yeah. I can't wait to the weekend. Fucking Vindaloo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 46. Fuck yeah. Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> fucking losers. Like, no harm to them. No harm to football fans. Don't kill me. But uh, yeah, just embarrassment all around. Uh, how did I must watch that video? How did Andrew Lawrence get cancelled? But obviously something has happened before, and the dude does no, does no give a fuck hey, anymore. Chef Tom with ATV. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so so strange, strange carry on. But yeah, I I didn't watch any of those fucking euros like. No. And neither. then I forgot Wimbledon final was on. Oh yeah. You know, like it was all just happening at once. Did you see the video of? Uh, <laughs> It was Prince William's son, whatever he's called. Oh, yes. And he's like, ha ha! Yeah. And he tucked his shirt in, and someone's like, he has the mannerisms of like a 40 year old city banker. <laughs> like, isn't it funny how you could just like be, you know, it's just your upbringing and who you're surrounded with. And the guy's, the guy's probably like eight years old. He's like, ha ha! Fantastic! <laughs> Doing his tie up and all fucking brilliant. Little Prosecco. <laughs> The guy's already 45, like. Oh, yeah. so funny. So funny. But did you watch, um, did you see any of the McGregor fight? Uh, just watched the afterwards, the <laughs> aftermath. Brutes. Not Brut, nice. Brutes McGoots. Um, he, uh, I mean, where do you start? Slobbers the bit out on the way up to the fight. This guy's fucking, this guy's, a corpse. <laughs> I'm going to kill this guy. And then they go in there and they have a bit of an exchange. I mean, the thing the, the thing is with McGregor, you know, he hits real hard. Yeah. And he's very accurate. But people just go, I'll just push him up against the cage here. Take him down. You know? Beat the shit out of him. Yeah. And then stands up and fucking throw some sort of kick that they were trying to figure it out they couldn't like pinpoint what what kick it was that like fractured his leg or did he was it fractured before he went into the fight but it was fucking grim to see I knew as soon as he fell back I was like he didn't get like knocked down there yeah. like he just fell over and I bet he, was, he twisted his ankle or something and uh, poor but you see the thing with Poirier is or the, uh, this is the reason why McGregor should quit because he's worth so much. He's so valuable. Every fight is the biggest fight that ever happened. And that can only happen against, like, the toughest of opponents. Yeah. So he never, he can never be, like, that journeyman fighter where he had his, like, big title rush and peak and then they can sort of taper it off and he can just have fights for fun. Every fight is a fucking $20 million fight. Yeah. So he has to fight the top guys. And Poirier's like, let me see, Poirier uh, record. Like, the guy has just fought and beat unbelievable fighters on a roll for, like, ages. Or it, oh, I can't even get the fucking thing. I literally seen the, the, the list of people that he's beat, and the only one he didn't beat was, like, Khabib, which sure no one beat him. Um, but yeah, let me see if we can get this. Come up, you bitch. Um, yeah, and and as Ronda Rousey said, McGregor was fucking like promoting the next fight as soon as his arse hit the floor, <laughs> hits the floor, and he's like, "Dad, this isn't over. I'm gonna fucking kick a shit out of this guy." And you know, your wife's in my DMs. <laughs> Yeah, Poirier's wife is you know there should be a bit more of a versus between because Poirier's you know got his shit together and he's like you know this guy's rude and he kissed my asshole and 
blah, blah, blah. And then his wife's in the background like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> fuck you, you Irish cunt. You know? Yeah. Fuck you, break your foot. My asshole, you son of a bitch. Fucking. <laughs> you know, hops on her horse, rides away. And Poirier's all like, we're raising money for fucking <laughs> kid with cancer. And, you know, the pygmies and bro. But I just think, uh, I mean, you f you fall for the McGregor trick every time, because, you know, he did break his leg there. But on the way into that fight, you're like, right, what's stopping Poirier doing exactly the same thing to him, grabbing him, putting him down, beating the fuck out of him? That's probably what'll happen. That is what happened. But, you know. He talks a good game and he's just like, I'm gonna fucking murder this guy. And you're like, well, there's always he's always got that chance, you know, you don't know McGregor. <laughs> Fuck he might clip him and knock him out. And uh he does clip him, nothing happens, gets taken down. And then sure enough, he fuck it. Like, look at this. Beats McGregor, beats McGregor, Dan Hooker, lost to Khabib. Max Holloway, Alvarez, Gaethje, Pettis, Alvarez, Jimmy. You know what I mean? Like fucking best of the best. McGregor's is like, lost to this guy, lost to this guy. Had a boxing fight with my thing. Beat the shit out of Cowboy. He was 50. You know, the last few fights have been a bit dodgy for McGregor. Like. But, uh, mm, strange times. And I saved the fight overnight. Bought the pay-per-view. It was like, I'll watch this in the morning. And, uh, yeah, nearly put me off my fucking fry, let yeah. me tell you. I could deal with blood and open wounds and all shit all day. Like, But see... See, when someone breaks a bone, I'm like, bleh, bleh, bleh. no thanks. Who's this on the message? Mickey. Would you be up for a set in the half field? What are you fuck up to? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm excited about McGregor Poirier 4. <laughs> uh, McGregor should just start his own thing and just do like fantasy fights. That's what he should do, because he's going to get killed in there when they just keep feeding him, like, the best of the best people. Because if he fought Poirier, say, like, had a decision, they're going to be like, what's the next biggest fight? Diaz 3? There's another fucking brain damage waiting to happen. Yeah. And then what happens after that? I'm taking a title run. Oh, you got fucking Charles, what's his tits? You're like, what a nightmare. Khabib 9? <laughs> you know, it's just like, it's just going to be a fucking... One disaster after another. It's fucking weird, like, but he's... Sure, look at them. Um, did you see the Chris Weidman fight where he kicked the guy's leg and his leg oh, broke yeah. and it flopped all over the place? Yeah. Anderson Silva did the same thing to him. Yeah. Which is so... It was like it was like he caught the disease of the fucking spaghetti legs. Yeah, I kick nice. you, you get the broken legs. You kick someone else, you'll break your leg. It's just like he passed it on. And McGregor, like, what I'm saying is, your guy Weidman had that injury, fucking whatever amount of months it was ago, and you go on his Instagram and he's just about hobbling around his house and his boxers, like, hey, up and at them. I know. Like, it's a long, long process when they yeah. fucking get, a, get like, rods up in your bone and all that shit. Um, so, I don't know. It's, a, it's just the sort of thing, like, do you fucking recover from it? Properly, ever? I don't think so. Even, like... Psychologically, surely you'd always be thinking about it. You would be, th even if they tell you it's stronger, like, you know, it's it's hard to rid your brain of that sort of trauma. Yeah. It, somewhere, like, every time, like, I've blown my knee out, and if I was doing anything physical, it's, like, say we went, like, co-steering that day. Yeah. I'm, like, climbing up rocks going, concentrate where you're putting your left leg here because that's the bad knee. Yeah. And it does fucking just, uh, <laughs> just pop out the whole time. Um, yeah, it's fucking tough. Like, it's tough. I would know, would not like to. Uh, I, I mean, I, have you ever broken anything? Have we talked about this before? No, I've broken, broken anything. I broke my arm. I'm arrested at the same time. Oof. And it was fuck. It's very odd. <laughs> like you're just you can't. You know, it's like a shock to your system to like look at it and go, "That's not where it was a minute ago," and it's not sore right now. And then just murderous pain brutal like but uh yeah 
He's got my 20 quid anyway, the bastard. Fuck it, but I'm a grown adult now, I can pay for things. <laughs> it's one of the joys of being a, an adult. <laughs> you know, you can you can buy your own shit. Yeah. You can pay for all the stuff that I stole for years. That, that, that's the way people are. I put up a photo of that fight, or a fight beforehand. Someone was like, ah, oh, you gotta give us the... F oh, someone goes, hope you're paying for that, you rat. Out of nowhere. <laughs> what? It's on BT Dana Sport. <laughs> yeah, I'd love that. Um... <laughs> So yeah, fucking strange, strange Kaya. It's been a, it's been a weird week for odd comments. There's been a couple of blockages. Let me tell you. Oh, these motherfuckers put up a video of like me and uh, Aaron and Tim because they moved to London. Best of luck to them. Oh yes. And I fucking put up a wee post saying, you know, it was like it was just a little bit of an in joke between the three of us on the podcast. Some guys like, is this supposed to be funny? And they said, like, imagine introducing these three to, like, a real comedian like Dave Chappelle. Oh, here's these two. Here's these two, like, <laughs> giggling buffoons and a half-wit in a hat. Puke comedy. Jesus. And you're like, bro. He needs to talk to I, someone. Who am I? Comedy Central? It's my fucking personal Instagram. I'm putting up a clip of my two friends that are going to London. And you, you by the way, you follow me. Which, and even at that point, you're like, Am I going to get involved in a f in a back and forth with a guy who can't even compute what's going on? You know, he oh, doesn't yes. understand that I'm just posting a thing with those two guys in it because they're both moving to London <laughs> with a bit of a joke where I say that they they verbally abuse me all the time. Do you not get that? Are you just? And I said that not. I was like, or not not now. Fucking Aaron. I was like, this is the type of guy that would come up to you and be like, man. I, do you remember I, I was giving you stick online? Bit of banter? Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, you fucking waste of life. Mm. So needless to say, blocked. <laughs> Black. I love that. You fucking, you need a thicker skin. They're like, I don't need a thicker skin because you're a cunt. Yeah. Do you know? Bit less of the cunt. <laughs> the skin's fine. Do you know what I mean? And as soon as I, I say something back, it's like, man, take it easy. Take yeah. it easy, man. There's no need to go that far. Bro, sort your life out. Let's hit some questions. <coughs> Shout out as well to Flow CBD LTD. I actually need a bit of a chat with William there just to see what sort of offers he's got going on at the minute. Still pumping it, is he? Oh, I. FlowCBDLTD.com. Um, if you need any CBD needs, uh, my tip, which I've realized recently, is if you're taking CBD, take it before you go to bed. Works somehow 10 times better. Mm. Get it into it. There's the best tasting one as well. All the rest of them taste like fucking bog water. And uh, theirs taste like delicious mint. Yeah. CBDLTD.com. Get on it. Gummies. Oil. Bath bombs. Throw a bath bomb in the bath. Get too relaxed. Whitney Houston yourself? <laughs> Sorry, we'll cut that you out. you fuck up, dude? Cut that out. Uh, is Lavery's Comedy Club open again? I don't know what the issue is right at the minute because we did the last one and then I uh, contacted them saying, can we do more? And they're like, yeah, fucking whenever you want. Whatever, whatever date from Thursday to Sunday for the next fucking whatever. And then I emailed saying like, would the 15th do? Like, I mean, that was going to literally be tomorrow. And they were like, I didn't get. A, I couldn't get an answer. So I think I, I literally think people are on holiday, or I don't know. I actually don't know who to fucking deal with right now, which is uh, weird. But yeah, it will be coming back. It should be a regular thing. But right now, I'm like, I don't know whether people are just so frantic that things are ha back happening now that they're like, shit, we're just busy with people coming out drinking in the sun, we're having the time to fucking try and set up for an event. So. It will come back and it'll be regular, but I don't know what the crack is for the next few weeks. What's your go-to gym workout and what's a class arm workout? <laughs> arm? Who works out their arms? Like curls and shit? Um, so this morning, for example, the only equipment I had at the house was two, tw 22 and a half K dumbbells. The old hex dumbbells and a 24 K uh, kettlebell 
and I did a narrow push-up, you know, almost with my weight over it, just to really pump the tits, which are very prominent in this mauve top. Pump the tits, quite close grip. And then I stood up, 10 of them, 12 of them, whatever, stood up, and then I went for the overhead press to work the shoulders, okay? And then that gets a real just tit burn going. And then, of course, we went into some, like, slightly split sort of single-arm deadlifty things just to work the ass. Uh, and then we did some rows with the heavy thing. These, this, is all, this is all pumping the arms, even though it's kind of like for your back and stuff. But, you know, your arms are getting worked out there. And then at the end, I was doing sets of curls with the 22.5K dumbbells because you know what I mean, tank. Um, um, arm workouts are weird, though. Like, a, a lot of pressing, curls, a lot of fucking... Try type. I mean, you're talking to a guy who look, is built like a fucking dead walrus, but you know, the old try pull downs. You can do an overhand curl with the bar, which is burns the shit out of your arms. You ever do that? Aye, forearm. Instead of curling like that, you just, you know, you do the upward curl and do a wee tilt at the top. That'll get you, or you can just tie a fucking sandbag to your cock. That's yep. a lie. I don't know. All those things will get you, get you a sore arm. Grip stuff fucks your arms up, you know, go to a jiu-jitsu class and just grab on a fucking bit of cloth for two hours. Get that old forearm burn. Um, but also, my arms aren't that impressive, so talking to the wrong guy. What thoughts on the wee boy turning into the human torch at the bonfire? Didn't see it. Do you see any videos like that? Nope. I had a few, vid- few videos in the group chat from Paddy McDonald there at the weekend, and <laughs> let me tell you something. Never open them. Never open them. Oh dear. Just like, what was the one? Hold on. I can't even. I need to remind myself what the first one was, bear with. Um, but honestly, like, you're just like, am I allowed to be watching this? So the first one was, oh yeah, that's right. Just a video of, I can't show this at all. It's, this is the sound. <laughs> Now, that was a man basically being assassinated in a barber's. So he's getting his hair cut, and these dudes come in. What do they say? Stand back. Did you say stand back? Stand back. Yeah. He says stand back, and then they just shoot the fuck out of this guy in the seat. Um, he sent me that. Watched that. Didn't know what was going on. The second one? is basically like a guy streaming as he like breaks into a guy's house who's can he's like he's calling him like a nonce and all this shit and then he stabs him in the chest and the guy just dies and and is like properly like covered in blood and you're like Patty the police should have your phone <laughs> do you know what I mean I'm like where are these videos come from <clears throat> but um what was the question? Yeah, no, I didn't see that. He sent another one in weeks ago where there was like uh, some sort of disturbance. I don't know where that is, like near Harlem Wolf. Must be East Belfast somewhere. But they're kicking this car. And the car's trying to turn. I can't show any of this, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, can't, I mean, literally the PSN, I'll be at the door. There's someone doing a, like a three-point turn. And they're all kicking this car, and then one guy who looks like he's had a few jars runs towards the car to join in with the kicking. Just kind of stumbles and falls, and then as the car comes back round in the three-point turn, goes over his legs. <laughs> and you're like, bro, stay on the footpath, and you'd have been fine. You know, he tried to get involved. He's like, I'm going to fucking kick it, runs at the car. Oh, trip, fail, crunch. Hilarious. Fucking just, why bother? But yeah, apart, so I'm, I haven't seen this video, but I'm guessing someone fucking set themselves on fire at the bonfire. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, jeez. I've seen, I've seen a video, I don't know where it was, poured it down or something with the fucking... Kiped? This thing was like the shard, and then it just fucking goosh, fell over. But, uh, you know, whatever, uh, whatever you do at the weekends, man. Yeah, great weekend for humanity. Yeah. With the England fans and yeah. bonfires. 
if they'd have scored those those goals, they'd have been they'd have been heroes. And now that they missed them, they're just fucking the black dudes. And that's putting it politely, because <laughs> that's not what some of these racialist. Fo- I went. I remember seeing it was Liverpool playing Linfield so, when I was younger. Someone had tickets, and we're like, "Oh, we'll go to this, this match." They're playing like a pre-season, and the fucking racial abuse from the stands was shocking. Like, mm. shocking. And I was young, like probably like twelve or thirteen. I remember just being like, "This is very hostile. <laughs> this is very, very hostile for me right now." Um. Best feed in a restaurant that's now gone. Best feed in a restaurant that's now gone. Barbecue. Barbecue was good. <laughs> Bull and ram. Oh. Which I think I think one of the chefs had seen my name there in the old booking and decided to go fucking all out on the service and I got free shit thrown at me. Bone oh. marrow, fucking pork scratchings, pea and ham soup. Oh. Which is one of the tastiest things I've ever had. It must have been made by like coconut milk or something. It was, oh my God. And this is before a Lavery's. I stuffed myself and then just rolled down to Lavery's like, somebody, somebody please do the hosting place. I need to shit on the sick. Hammered and full to the brim. I would love a steak right now. Um, let me see. Hi. Uh, uh, actually, I better go in here because I might be able to... Fucking, let me see. Did that come up? I might be able to uh, watch these videos online. Come on, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out the fucking. Uh... What food are we eating after this? I'm absolutely starving. Uh, the Italian guy <laughs> debagging himself while celebrating. I can't. I still can't get over that that podcast. What? Did I, why did I say podcast? I looked at the word podcast. Can't get over that that penalty your man took. Epic. Edit that out there where I had a stroke. Ah. <laughs> you. His pants came off. Why is the dude wearing his girlfriend's like Calvin's? <laughs> oh man, look at that guy's juicy booty. <laughs> He literally is wearing like women's pants. <laughs> Bit of crack. Bit of crack, literally. Ho, ho, ho. Fair play to him. Um, how long do you think McCann will survive in London? Well, judging by Tim's Instagram stories, McCann isn't exactly like coming out of the traps hot. Do you know he's like lying in bed doing a couple of lions? <laughs> tired from the move, man. Tired. Man, drink that city in. Nah. Getting ramen on delivery. Mm. I don't know. He might. He might surprise everybody. Have you watched Serpent on Netflix? No. Um, yeah, McCann will just he'll do what McCann does. Um, which is just land on his feet everywhere he goes. He'll yeah. just lie around until Ahmed Jalili swoops in. And he's like, I will give you fortunes. Yeah. If you let me bathe you. Although he lives in Ipswich. So he's not too close. Okay. He's like uh, a good good hour and a half away. That's the Lisburn of London. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Close enough, sure. Um What's the biggest lie you were told by an adult when you were a child? That if I sat too close to a fire, my spine would melt. <laughs> and my granny told me that, which scared the shit out of me about any heat being on my back, which was obviously bollocks. She was trying to keep me away from the fire, but like, there, there's times I would lean up against like a radiator or something and just be like, I can't sit too close to this radiator because... And by this point, I was probably like 16. I was like, I can't sit too close to that because, you know, my spine will melt. <laughs> my actual spinal cord will melt. And she's a lying bitch, basically. And if I ever see her again, she's getting fucking smacked. <laughs> Have you watched Rogan's video of McGregor breaking his ankle? No. Should I? Can I do that right now? Yeah. Is it like on his podcast or something? Must be. Um, let me see. Rogan. Now, what about this for fucking podception? 
I'm watching the biggest podcast. Let me see. Roxy McGregor break. Or oh, was this like a live reaction? I need the link or something. Have you watched Rogan's video of McGregor bringing that? Don't know where it is. Is it up on his fucking ins or his Insta? Is it? Hey, this is great content. <laughs> we might be shooting a vlog tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. Um. Let me see, Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan. Joe Rogues. This must be it here. Make our big sir. Oh Jesus. Fuck's sake. Fuck. <laughs> oh fucking dirty bust. Am I not even connect? I am. Oh the clink. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so it's already broke at that point, is that what they're saying? And then they both missed. Here, that was duck. Oh damn, girl. Damn. Rough. Can't it's never you never get used to it. Here, it was a good job both of them fucking missed those punches there. Poor he's a fucking dog, like, he's a fucking savage. Let me see, kick, bop. There we go again. <laughs> doesn't take much, like, doesn't take much to break that part of your leg. Look at that. Hit some of the old tape. <laughs> it's hard to know, like, they kept trying to find the, the, the specific... Look at that. Way boy. They might have been both too close to each other for that to really be a major oh fuck. Yeah, you don't you, <laughs> you sort of don't know what the moment is because also look at that photo for fuck's sake, Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan. I shared that and it was like almost as good as a Lavery's lineup. <laughs> Joe Rogan, such a funny shape. <laughs> no, here. No joke. When I put on a suit, I'm the same shape. <laughs> So you'll see me on Saturday in a suit and I'll be like that, scaled up by like 30%. That's what I am. Th but the, uh, it's just the way he's standing as well. He's like... He's a troll, look. He's one of those guys, he, he, because he's so <laughs> thick, he's like he's like a CrossFit person. Like they look good with basically no clothes on. And then they put regular clothes on and you're like, oh, this guy doesn't look normal at all. You know? It's funny. It's like when you see a hot CrossFit girl on the internet and you're like, she's fucking pretty hot. And then she puts on a like a dress and you're like, oh, she's, she looks like Brock Lesnar. You forget about the traps and shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think in that fight, he just, I think like he could have, he could have went into the fight with a fracture. He could have threw a leg kick, fractured it, you know, thrown that front kick, that tape thing, twisted it, fractured it more. You know, I think it was probably like a culmination of several impacts mm. and then one of them just set it over the edge and, uh, and then he put full weight on it and it snapped but absolutely disgusting yep I will say yep um, but again fair play to him for just fucking as soon as he hit the ground he was like right fuck we're doing it again and then the guy went like turbo Dublin I don't even know what he said let me see McGregor Let's get it up post fight. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He literally turned into just like a, a fucking smackhead on a street in Dublin, screaming at someone. Their wife's a fucking, you know. <laughs> you UFC like you've never seen it. Ads. Come on. The, the fight obviously stopped in a horrible way. Don't play this either because we're just, I don't know how many attempts at oh, uploading yeah. podcasts we're going to have. By the way, this is this is like these boys look exactly the way you look at the end of a jujitsu class, <laughs> where you're just talk, sitting on the ground going, "Yeah, man, I I mainly vape weed now." Thoughts on how it was going? I was boxing the bleeding head off him, kicking the bleeding leg off him. You was will show you do it to close the distance. Just get, this is not a guy at a bus stop. 
you know, like he's been in a fight recently in Dublin. Same. If we had to take this outside with him, it's all outside. We don't give a He said that he believes that one of the kicks that he checked is what broke your leg. There was no check. There was not one of them I checked. Your wife is in me DMs, hey baby. Hit me back on my chat later on. We'll be at the party to win no club, baby. You're looking bitch, you little <laughs> him. <laughs> you, you miss with a punch and step back. Ridge. Yeah. Tell us what you felt. Tell us what you thought was going on. Also, Joe Rogan looks like he has his hand, his regular hand, inside a fake hand that's like too big. The thing had separated my blade and landed on the wonky leg like Anderson Silva that time. Something similar. Did you hear that? He was like so furious and it bled into like emotional. Yeah. I fucking put me way the fuck. Tell us what you felt. You'd be crying, Tony. What you thought was going on. Just the thing had separated my blade and landed on the wonky leg like Anderson Silva that time. <laughs> Something similar to that. It's a fing mad hell business. Listen, it was a wild fight for as long as it lasted. I'm sure. <laughs> fucking, uh, Rogan giving it the. Anyway, good luck to you. Uh, fucking. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> fucking take her. Anyway. That was mad. Anyway, I cracked that. Fucking take her. She is, you know, but there. Oh, shit. You're lunatic. <sighs> it is a mad old business. That's the thing. Like, you, you would be more upset that you prepared for that long and then your leg broke. Yeah. You know, you'd be like, for fuck's sake, man. Or even like, remember the Frampton fight where he was due to fight that dude, forget his name, and the guy, <laughs> yeah. the guy slipped in the bath in the Europa. Yeah. I was going to fight Carlos Frampton, and then I, <laughs> I get a lovely bath and slip and smash my teeth out. Fuck that. With McCann and Tim moving to London, have you ever thought of living abroad just because you can? I often think it would be class to live in South Africa. Fucking not right now, my man. No. Not right now. No. When they're fucking burning the place now. I mean, yeah, it's just it's just one of those places where they're like, any sort of unrest magnifies the level of poverty, doesn't it? Yeah. Because they're like, listen, we're not happy about this. You know, we're barely scraping by and now we're just going to fucking wreck the shop. Like, um, But yes, I, I mean, it's obviously Cape Town is a fucking sweet spot. Our boy Sean's over there now. Um, yeah, I have thought about it. And honestly, my my ideal life scenario, which I've talked about many times on here, is live here and be able to work hard enough to and be mobile enough to work anywhere. You know, do this podcast from wherever I fucking fancy doing it from. Um, obviously, COVID fucked that over. But we're getting to the point now where things like that might be... It probably won't be this year. It might be next year where we might have a couple of, like, you know... Do you know I mean? Like, we might sort of fucking... What are you laughing? What are you looking at? <laughs> Chateaus. <laughs> Chateaus. <laughs> Might sort of um, decide just like, okay, we're going to do fucking three weeks in LA here or somewhere like that. It is a good thing to be able to, you know, go to a place and actually work there. Yeah. Because you're, you're sort of, you, you don't need a specific location to do any of that shit. I always wonder, like, if you traveled with a bit of gear, I know people get suspicious when you go places and you've got like t fucking two flight cases full of shit. But if you had a bag that just had a couple of cameras, a Zoom, and a laptop, would they be as suspicious? Like, what are you doing here? Are you working here? You're like, no, I actually just have a podcast and I'm recording it. Does that fall into the work thing or could you still be there on a holiday? It's very strange. But um, yeah, and then I was talking about that. I see my dad for the first time in fucking months. And he was like, I were thinking of like, you know, he's thinking about taking early retirement and he rents his old house, like the house I grew up in. And they were thinking of moving to Spain. Nice. Because they watch so much, like obviously big fans of like Place in the Sun. <laughs> and they're like looking into it and they're like, it's not too crazy. Like if, if you had two houses that you were renting at home, could you buy a third thing somewhere else? Not Nothing crazy, like just a small 
apartment, you know, somewhere to live abroad. And I was like, man, get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah, I would not spend another week because he hates his job. Like, yeah. And he probably had to do it for years whenever, like, you know, me and my sister were growing up as, as you have sort of older children. But now we're well out of the fucking, out of the nest now. I'm like, bro, get the fucking quit immediately. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I'll probably be in the next five years. And I'm like, bro, five years? I wouldn't wait five years for anything. Get the fuck out of there, image. And then, of course, me and Maureen got talking. She's like, it's not like, you know, beyond the realms of possibility to actually have a fucking thing in Spain or something. And I was like, well. Chateau. That's like, <laughs> yeah, escape to the chateau. I grow myself a big fucking mustache. And I'm like, man. <laughs> Right here in the shadow. Dick Strawbridge has the weird accent. I love it. <laughs> Dick Strawbridge went to my school, apparently. Did they? Yeah. Dang if you it. look up most famous sexy fat bitches from Ballyclare High. <laughs> uh, also, shout out to the dudes who who came up to me at a gig. And they're like, oh, we're Ballyclare men too. And I was like, let me tell you something, my man. Congrats. But I have absolutely no ties to that place. <laughs> other than I went to school there. Um... Uh, what where am I? What am I doing here? Ninety nine or Magnum? Probably ninety nine if it's available. Yeah. Watch this, by God! Here we go. Efucked dot com. This is gonna be fucking send me to prison. <laughs> send me to prison. Take my fucking hands in handcuffs. <sighs> Priceless escort experience. Fuck oh mate. Jesus! Is someone gonna get their. F- <laughs> What a question. What a question to ask. Ho Chi Minh's first time at the fish market goes so. Oh, God. <laughs> Christ almighty Hey, welcome to the General Butter Podcast Where people send me incriminating videos Also, this guy has sent me a link from eFucked Is the guy just Hanging out on eFucked? <laughs> like opening a fridge in an abandoned house The guy's cracking jokes while he's trying to bang a hooker <laughs> <laughs> now, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Just knock one out. That's funny as fuck. I mean, sad. Oh, what's this? <laughs> what's this? Pop ups coming up too? Gee, I thought I had a pop up blocker. <laughs> oh. Not on that website. Jesus wept. <laughs> so, anyway, you know, that's Vietnamese, I think. That Did they say that? that? Ho Chi Minh. From earlier. Dude tries. To- yeah, that was already open. <laughs> <laughs> already had that open. Whoa. It's fat bitch finger in his uh, But, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. So, obviously, the scenario there was. Um, <laughs> Man goes to brothel, goes to have sex with woman, and she and then he says, "Are you septic?" What a strange question! Jesus Christ, love you, septic! <laughs> and then obviously the smell is overwhelming, and he's like, <laughs> and that guy's pubes and dick literally look like you poked a breadstick out of a <laughs> afro wig. The guy had so many pubes, so little, so many, so little genitals, so little time. But then the guy. <laughs> So many pubes, so little time. That's a seasick Steve song. I feel seasick now. Uh, ever read any of Bourdain's books? I have listened to the audiobook of Kitchen Confidential, and that's about the hang of it, my friend. Nice. Hova Soats, same dude sent me the fucking septic puss video. <laughs> okay. I will... Uh, this sp- man's got links. Yeah, this man's got a fucking record that the police know about. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the dude goes to give the fish like a kiss or something or what he gets knocked out. You see that? I'll go full full screener. What is it? F? F. 
Oh yeah. Damn girl. So he's trying to like dangle a fish over this other giant fucking like what is that a catfish or a what is it? Koi fish? And then just it goes to grab it. Knocks him out. Boom. Oh, he's kidding. I got knocked out. Oh. What a stupid cunt. Yeah. Try that at Explorers. Be some old doll just hitting you that works there. Get the fuck out of here <laughs> with you. Callum Baxter. We've gone fishing at some pretty unusual. Cool. Nice one. Cool. Oh, I'm an absolute. Tomorrow. I'm an absolute puss lord. <laughs> um. Mm, Callum Baxter. Colin Baxter. He sent me a link here. This is our final sort of bit of interaction here from the Patreon questions. Hi, Night Flight fans. We're talking with the one and only Ozzy Osbourne. No, this is eight minutes. Good evening, Ozzy. What? Good evening, Ozzy. <laughs> 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 That's all I need to see of that. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> That's when you know someone's going to be trouble. Good evening. What? <laughs> <laughs> Man's had a few pills. We're talking with the one and only Ozzy Osbourne. Good evening, Ozzy. What? <laughs> Good evening, Ozzy. Hello there. How are you? Fine. Ozzy, first of all, it has been rumored that you have bitten off the heads of doves, bats, dogs, everything. We want to set the record straight. Great video, great sound. What <laughs> head did you really bite? Well, in actual fact, it's not meant to be funny. I bit my own head off. But it, in, in actual fact, some guy went at one gig on the last tour threw a bat on stage, and, and every night we do a gig. Man's not well. The man's not well. He sounds exactly like... Kelly Osborne there. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> darling. He sounds very well spoken. <laughs> but he's at this point he's been probably hanging out in LA taking a lot of coke with a load of lovies, you know? <laughs> hello, darling. You know, he doesn't talk like that at all. He's like, yeah, hello, join me in the toilets. Okay. Why move to the toilet? I have a coke wing of my house, darling. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man's got intake on that nostril. People are coming through this, this junk on stage, and you know, I thought it was one of these. Yeah, uh, fuck all that. I can't listen. I can't listen to that whole thing. Guys, crazy. Although we got we got all we needed from it in the first <laughs> second. Good what? evening. What? <laughs> Play you fucking. Asshole. How good are Black Sabbath? Very good. Oh, stop. I just can't get over, like, there's certain things I listen to and I go, I can't imagine what it would be like at that time. I know. You listen to it now and you go, fuck, that's heavy and fucking still, still got a, lot of, a load of, like, soul to it somehow. Yeah. Doesn't it? Like, a lot of real, sort of... So this is a, like, it's like a birthday gift. Yeah. Like, a real feel to the music. and You know, a lot of metal's kind of very... Electronic, Cynical. yeah, and very like, just yeah. You know, you can re you can really hear the fucking instruments being played. Remember this location, Southampton. A live yeah. recording. You were playing with. What's this? Indy, nineteen eighty. Oh, you were in the back of a truck. Isolated oh, solo from. Crazy train with me. I mean, I think about. Randy Rose. He was still around. He was just a great guy. We should listen. He was a great guy. Not great at flying. <laughs> Be There's the po the post lord five thousand Jack, <laughs> the Lord of Darkness produces, you know, little potato with small arms. Yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you heard this like this? Well, I haven't heard this song. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't heard this song. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? It? <laughs> it sounds good. It's one of your what? biggest hits. What? <laughs> what That's crazy. That? Oh. 
When I heard the master of, of Ozzy Train, I remember the fun we had writing it and making it. And, and Andy Rose was a big part of my life. And he still I hate that song. I, I always think of him like that. Oh, you sound good. I, I actually think it sounds great, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> get the guitar bit, you bitch. Right. It's unreal. People don't get that. Isolated. That's the first recording. Every time. Isolated. Great, great player. He's got a bittersweet girl. Randy Rose died uh, not long after that. It's kind of like going back to a good time, but yet the, a really horrible time at the same time. We only wish you could, you know. He they should have called it Crazy Plane. <laughs> Been around for a bit longer. Quite a job, bro. Amazing. Imagine that asshole at a party. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting around. Fan of him. Randy Rhodes. Randy yeah. Rhodes. Uh, epic. <laughs> We're going to get sued. Wonder. 53 million hits. <laughs> Are you sending me a thing? No, I was gonna see. This is one of these podcasts that's just descended into craziness. That that synth up at the top, yeah, is worth like six, seven grand or ten grand. There you go. Oh, ten right. grand. I, I didn't know what you, where you were going with that. <laughs> six, seven million. <laughs> what is it? It's uh, the Moog Model D. The sweet Moog D. Yeah. It's Class. The beast. It was one of the first ever like synthesizers like that. It was sort of all one unit. Swag. Yeah. Very cool. Swag. And now it's an app. <laughs> now you can just get the fucking no, app. Moog app. Uh, yeah, that was... that. I mean, you could have stopped listening to this quite some time ago, but we just descended into watching uh, music videos like we always do. Let's get out of here. I'm sweating. Uh, remember to get on the Patreon because there's extra podcasts going up in this motherfucker. Um, get on it, guys. Just get on it. Get in there. Uh, you can access a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to pin the comedy, the SSE show at the top, for those who haven't seen it. Um, get on the Patreon for slash, patreon.com for slash Jennifer Podcast. And that's it, really. There'll be bonus podcasts going up this week. It's a wedding weekend in my extended family, so I'll be doing f clean fuck all other than scheduling posts. But that's it. Cheers for listening, guys. Enjoy the weather. Put the podcast on your ears. Tell your friends and just go for a walk. Get your coffee, get your steps in, as Tim would say. Yep. Sweet. Take it easy, guys. Will you fuck up, dude?